Pilipinas at Malaysia sa paglago ng kanyang negosyo. So we have a, a very good and, and very what they call a, a smooth uh, uh, interaction between the two countries. Okay, then from Philippines, okay, then we we are able to expand to. Uh, America, and for America, then we go to the Latin America and we expand. So basically, half of the DXM empire, we can say that is original from Philippines. Kabilang sa pinuntahan ni Dr. Lim ang kanilang head office sa Pilipinas na nasa Quezon City. Pagkatapos ay nagtungo rin ito sa Davao City at sa Baguio City kung saan nagsagawa siya ng leadership training. Plano na rin ang kumpanya na magtayo ng sariling planta sa Pilipinas kung saan inaasahang makikinabang ang mga nasa sektor ng agrikultura. Actually, we already put, purchased some land in Philippines. And you, you must understand, Philippines is quite a good uh, base to produce a raw material. Okay? And we have a lot of tenor cut here, especially in the agriculture sector. Philippines is very good, you know, very advanced. In in a, in a agriculture sector, and the extent basically we are agro company. Okay, we are doing with mushroom, with spirulina, with this uh, what we call this uh, uh, enzyme. All these things we need a lot of raw material, and Philippines are full of that. So so we there is some planning we to set up some facility in Philippines. We also will come up with a social economy. It's a thing to interact with the farmers, to interact with the locals. Okay, so then maybe we will share some experiences to them. May payo naman si Dr. Lim sa mga gustong magtagumpay sa negosyo. Una, dapat ay gusto mo ang iyong ginagawa. I think to successful in any business, first thing first, you need to do something that you wanted to do. You never do anything that uh, uh, against your wish, okay? And and uh, and if the thing you wanted to do, and there must be a purpose in your business, okay? They, they must serve some purpose, no? Uh, in uh, in this uh, social uh, economy uh, uh, stance. So when, when the purpose is good and it's something that you would like to do, so you will do it every day. So when the time's uh, long enough, you'll be successful. Hindi rin anya dapat ikahiya na magsimula ng simple at maliit na negosyo dahil ganito rin sila noong nagsisimula pa lamang. Subalit ngayon ay isa ng worldwide business sa loob lamang ng ilang taon. Uh, we started the XN in a very small scale, okay? a very simple office with one or two workers only and a very simple farm, six to seven uh, workers in the farms and also a very small factory. The main challenges is that we are in a health food and health food are nominated by this uh, from America, from this advanced country, you know, even like Taiwan, even even from this uh, Japan. So we as a local company, as an Asian company, so when we started small and, and uh, we tried to promote the local products, uh, it's very difficult to convince people to, to join the company, but we never thinking of quit or surrender. The, the, the reason is very simple, you know, okay, whatever we do, we must try to do something that we wanted to do, we wish to do, okay? And, and, and if we feel that what we are doing is uh, uh, of good to ourselves, to the society, to the people, then these are good, few good factors who always push us forward. So there's not a single instant or whatever that we feel like quitting. Ang tagumpay ng kumpanya ni Dr. Lim ang siya namang nagsisilbing inspirasyon ngayon sa marami nating kababayan na naniniwalang kung nagawa ng iba, magagawa rin nila. Para sa Eagle News, Nelson Lumao, I'm one with 25.